In this video, I want to show you how you can create conditional formatting in Power BI based on the user that is looking at the report. And what I mean with that is that we can actually create reports where we highlight what is most important for the user. So no one size fits all. And to give you a little bit of background, how did I come up with this? I know a lot of people use reports for big teams, a big audience, or several teams that look at the same report. Now, of course, you could limit what everyone is looking at, but sometimes that information is quite crucial. So everyone should be able to see everything, but everyone also wants to see first the information that is most important to them. And when I thought about this, I thought about there must be a way to use conditional formatting based on the user because there's something else in Power BI, role level security, where we tell Power BI if a user logs in with a certain email, that user has certain rights. So they can only see specific things. But if that works, if that logic works, I thought at that moment that also must work for conditional formatting. And it works. And I show you how to do that because I think it's awesome. It really helps my clients. So I want to share the information. And I also wrote an article about this step by step with some screenshots and the ducks you see in the video today. The link is in the description. So if you want to get the ducks or go through it step by step, make sure to click on that and read the article. So let's go into Power BI. This is a very basic report. We see an open actions overview and there are several teams that have open actions like finance has seven actions, marketing has nine, there's a total of 33 and there are some KPIs in there, some card visuals, there's a column chart in there and there's a table where we see for each team and each region and each employee which actions are still open. Of course, if you are in this case, for example, Alice, you could go to that table and then search for it and then go to the next row and search for it. But normally tables aren't that small. Let's be realistic. Normally this would be a massive table. So how can we see that easier? And how can, for example, Alice see which teams she should check or are all the open actions relevant for her? And that's where the conditional formatting based on the user gets in. I already implemented this for this report and I will show you how it actually works because of course you also want to test it in my report. If I go to modeling and I click on view as I fill in the email, this is her email. And if I click now on, okay, I'm going to view this report as Alice, the way she would look at this. And now we see at the top now viewing as Alice, and we see that three teams are marked. Sales is not marked. We see that these teams are marked here and, and also in the table, but only for Alice. So Alice is responsible for the finance, marketing and operations open actions. She needs to check a lot of things, probably a manager of a team. Let's have a look into someone else. I also know that Bob is working there. Bob is only responsible for one thing and that's the open actions and sales. So when he opens the report, he sees the KPI for sales marked. So his attention is guided to that and also in the column chart. And in the table, he easily sees his open actions. If we do stop viewing, we go back to the normal reports. But how does this work? So you know how the report looks like. I will quickly show you also the data model. It's a very basic demo data model. I have my not so clean fact table here with all the actions. I have a date dimension and I have a team and user table. You see here many to many relationship. That is because a user can be in different teams and therefore there's not a one to many relationship possible here. Normally I would split this table and make it a user and a team table and then uh, create relationships for that. But now for demo purposes, this is exactly how it will stay. And then I show you the team and user table. You see, this is the employee table, the team and user table. We have our employees. You see they have two times the same ID because they are in different teams here and they all have an email address. This email address is their login email address. So if they go to Power BI online and they log in, they will use that email address. So when we know their email address and we can check their email address and Power BI can do that, we can make sure that conditional formatting is based on that information. So how can we do it? First things first. I talked about the user email address and that we can use that. How can you use that? Very simply, there's the DAX function user principal name. And when you use your user principal name, 
This will actually show the email that is used by the user that's looking at the report. Let's look at this report as Bob again. And if I click on this tax measure, and this is a very basic tax measure I created, user principle is user principle name. I just created this to show you what the result is. You don't need to create that measure, but I want to show you what's going on. If I put that in a card visual, there we are. We see that this is Bob looking at this report at the moment. To show you that it works, I go to modeling US and we replace this by someone else, John. And now we know John is looking at this report and based on his configuration, he sees different teams. So user principal name actually gives us the email of the user logging in. And of course we have our user table with the email of the user. So we can very easily make that link. So first what I did is I create this measure. It's user team measure and what this does is it looks at my user table and it gives me the team that someone belongs in and it only gives me the team when the email address is the same as the email address that is currently logged in. So for example at the moment I'm logged in with my own account that's none of the accounts you saw in that list so I see the report in a very basic style because well the DAX measure checks in which team the user is that's looking at this I'm in none of the teams so I get a few where I currently see everything in one column. And this information basically tells Power BI in which teams that person is looking at it. And now there's something important. This works very well with filter context because, for example, in this column chart, we see the actions opened by the team, like the marketing, operations, sales, finance. And when we have someone like John that should see finance and sales information, this is evaluated against that information. And that's why both of the columns are highlighted, even if in a DAX measure we had a max statement. So that's very important. But then now we know someone is in a certain team. How can we make things colored? I mean, we wanted to use the conditional formatting. How are we going to do that? I create another conditional formatting measure. And this measure is actually a, an if statement where I say if and what what I'm doing here is this is the measure I created before where I check if someone is in a team. If this is not blank, then I want this color. This is a hex code and that's the blue greenish color that you see when stuff is highlighted when I select a user and otherwise I want it to be white. You see I use a hex code here and I use a color name here. You can use both in Power BI but in Power BI you have like white, green, yellow, blue and you can't really tell what kind of white, green, yellow, blue you want to see. If you're using hex code you can really tell Power BI how to format stuff. I have videos about all that that kind of stuff. Uh, I will put it somewhere out here and I think there's also a playlist about conditional formatting. So have a look there if you want to learn more about this. So now we know if someone is in a team that is logged in that information will be colored in this blue green way and if that's not the case it will be white. So this conditional formatting rule you now need to implement because Power BI doesn't do this magically. You first need to tell Power BI of course that this needs to be colored. How can you do this? I show you first for the column chart. If I click on my column chart and I go to the formatting pane and I go to columns you see I have color here and an FX button. If I click on that FX button I have different conditional formatting rules that I can choose from like rule base, gradient or field value. I want field value and I want the conditional formatting rule I just created and I can put it in there and Power BI will apply it because the field value is one of the two hex codes we defined and Power BI just translates that to that color which is super handy. Now if you want to do the same for a table that's trickier because these are my values and if I click on values I don't see any FX button. So how do I do this? Also easy. Go to cell elements at the bottom right and there I have my actions open. These are the values and there you can then turn on conditional formatting for some parts of your table. And in this case, it's the background color. Again, I choose my field value and I say I only want to apply it to the values. And for my, my card visual, this is really the old card visual. I don't want the whole thing to be blue because that can be a little bit much. So how do I do that? Here I click on it and I click on title and then 
I a title, we can also choose background color and we do the same. We choose our dark smasher. Now you may think, but now I have to do this so many times. You have six card visuals here. I don't want to click six times. Watch this. You can just click on one of your card visuals that you completely visualize the way and format it the way you want. And then you go to home and the format painter. Some of you may know that from Excel. Click on format painter and click on the visual you want to apply the formatting to. And exactly the same conditional formatting you can see here will be applied to that card. So that's easy. Don't do it every time again. Just use the format painter if you have the same visual around in your report. And once you've done that, your report basically guides your user's attention because you tell Power BI what's most important for that user. So someone that's responsible for the open access of the sales team will see that information and they still see everything else important for everyone else in the report, but they see their information highlighted and their attention is guided to it. So the email address of a user, the login address is super helpful, not only for role level security, but also for guiding the attention. And I'm very happy that this works because, well, this is a demo report, but I created a very similar report with process flows and users needed to see which actions are still open, very complex, and it made it so much easier for the end user to find the information they're looking for. So I'm very happy with that. I hope this helps. Let me know if this explanation was clear. Let me know if you have any questions and make sure to also read the article if you want to follow this step by step.